Tonight, the movie channel celebrates the classic silent comedies and two masters of the good old sight gag. Hi there, I'm Robert Osborne, and welcome to the movie channel short film showcase. This time, we'll be seeing a pair of classic comedies featuring two performers who specialized in one of the most important techniques in comedy, the sight gag. In the days before sound, before snappy comic dialogue, comedies relied on what was seen, not heard, to get a laugh. And so the sight gag was born. One who was long regarded as the master of this was that gentle little man with the big glasses, Harold Lloyd. Now, Lloyd relied heavily on outrageous and even dangerous sight gags, and that became his trademark. Rather than just a succession of gags, Lloyd's brand of comedy was built on story and characterization. His zany everyman character who always triumphed over adversity made him the most popular comedian of the 1920s. He outdrew his rivals, Chaplin and Keaton at the box office, and even though he never achieved their critical success, he is regarded along with them as a master. Lloyd got his start playing bit parts in traveling theater companies. In tonight's Ring Up the Curtain, Lloyd plays a lackadaisical prop man for a small town theater. When a visiting theatrical troupe arrives, watch how he blends all the comic elements to create his brand of nonstop laughter. So prepare for pandemonium with Harold Lloyd in Ring Up the Curtain. <laughs> No doubt experiences like that one encouraged Lloyd to go into acting. The man in that last film with the dog was Harold Lloyd's favorite character actor, Snub Pollard. Pollard spent four years with Lloyd's company until he was offered a chance to make his own one-reelers. It was Hal Roach, who also helped launch Harold Lloyd's career, who gave Snub Pollard his big break. Pollard reached Hollywood in 1915 after coming from Australia with a traveling opera company. Rather than a pie in the face or a pratfall or other sight gags, Pollard's subtle use of mechanical gimmicks, all of his own design, were his trademark. A truly offbeat talent, some say far ahead of his time in comedy, Pollard made well over 60 films, eventually going on to form his own company. Here, then, is the aptly titled, It's a Gift. Don't you wish we had modern gadgets like those to help us get through the day? Next time, we're going to be seeing the very early films of Burns and Allen and a very young Jack Benny in his first starring role. So tune in next time to the Movie Channel's short film showcase, and I'll see you then. This is the Movie Channel, all movies 24 hours a day. The heart of Hollywood beats on when an aging vaudevillian helps a young girl to realize her lifelong dream of performing in front of a live audience. Buddy Hackett stars in Hey Babe, next on the Movie Channel. If you love movies, chances are you own a VCR. And if you own a VCR, what's a better, more convenient place to tape films than the Movie Channel's VCR Theater? We open the doors every night at 3 a.m., 2 a.m. Central, offering you a wide array of movies to record with no late charges and no penalty fees. Just some great films to tape while you sleep and watch whenever you want. Beginning on Friday, October 10th, you can record critically acclaimed Smithereens. On Saturday, Lauren Bacall and Glenda Jackson show you how to stay in shape in the hilarious comedy Health. On Sunday, October 12th, laugh along with Peter O'Toole in the hit comedy The Ruling Class. Then on Monday, join Alan Alda and Carol Burnett for an annual get-together in the Four Seasons. On Tuesday, October 14th, help eight teenagers battle the Soviet bloc forces in Red Dawn. On Wednesday, get a belly full of laughs with Gene Wilder and Donald Sutherland in Start the Revolution Without Me. Wrap up your week on Thursday, October 16th with a gang of socially unfit freshmen who turn the tables on the campus big shots in Revenge of the Nerds. Next week, you can record these great movies while you sleep and watch them whenever you want with VCR Theater every night at 3 a.m., 2 a.m. Central. Now the movie channel is the perfect VCR accessory. 
I've always hated autumn. Well, we at the Movie Channel are out to permanently absolve you of that notion. I drink to that. So prepare yourself to break up, freak out, and really roar. If you want to see excitement, I'll show you excitement if that's what you want to see. See, we're really going to be on a roll Saturday, October 11th. You're kidding me, right? No way. When we say we're going to make a big splash, we're going to make a big splash. I think we should get to the heart of this. Okay, then. All day long, the movie channel's out to cushion your fall with the October Fun Fest. Bravo! It's comedy you'll flock to. Right. That's the point. Right? That's the point. With movies that'll bowl you over. I don't find that amusing. And a guarantee to light up even the drabbest weekend. Oh, I get it. And so will you. The October Fun Fest. A harvest full of big laughs. All day Saturday, October 11th. On the Movie Channel. I don't know. It excites